Hey guys, hello all my overthinkers. I am so happy, happy, happy to see you guys again. And the reason I wanted to do this video is just like the title suggests, why not think about it in advance, okay? Why not think about it in advance? So here are the top things that I think about in advance. And if you guys agree, I just wanted to like, get y'all's opinion about it. But the reason that I was deciding to do this video is that I'm actually getting ready to go on a trip. And I realized that I spent a lot of time kind of like feeling, I don't know, maybe guilty that I like to plan things out. And so the top five things that I think about in advance, I'm just putting it out here. If you want to put some things in the comments, by all means, but here are the five things I think about in advance, especially when I'm getting ready to take a cruise. Very first thing is, how can I pack everything that I wanna pack in one bag? I used to be a two bag person. How many of you guys were a two bag person? And I realized probably, I don't know, probably three years ago that I have to be a one bag person. So my primary thing is how am I gonna fit everything in one bag? I always think about that ahead of time. I feel like I have perfected the one bag trip. If you are a two bag person and you need to figure out how to become a one bag person, I am going to do a video on how to become a one bag person. That is one thing I think about always in, in advance. Second thing I always think about in advance is food. And what's crazy about it is I wouldn't, I mean, okay, so what's, okay. Now for people who know me, they're not gonna believe this because I, I eat at some really nice places. I do like food. I have, I have, a, I have an amazing like desire for food. <laughs> But I also don't sit around when I'm in town and go, oh, let me just, you know, get up and go and go to some amazing restaurant all the time. I like to cook. I like to cook the things I eat out. But when I am going on vacation, I am overthinking my food. I want to know if I'm going to have good food options. I want to know how often I'm going to be able to eat. I want to know, is food going to be available to me 24 hours? because I wanna be able to have snacks, I wanna be able to have breakfast, I wanna have coffee in between. I have to really overthink and think about my food. Third, accommodations. The one thing I will research and I look at ahead of time is I have to understand fully, 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 okay? The accommodations, where I'm staying, what it looks like, what it's near, street view, what the lobby looks like, what the amenities are, what's included, what the food is that's available, everything on amenities. I even will look up like how many rooms there are. I wanna know, was it recently rebuilt? I wanna look at photos, not just the photos that they provide you, but also photos taken from real people like me. And that's why you guys are on my channel because I am real people like you. Um. So these are the things I think about ahead of time. The other thing that I think about ahead of time is weather. Now, sometimes that's the last thing I think about. I'm not going to, I'm going to be honest because um, I'm going to Africa, which I'm going to tell you guys about. I'm going to South Africa in June, going to Paris, and hopefully you guys are going with me in April. But I didn't even look at the weather before booking and I realize it's gonna be a little chilly, a little cold there. But the thing I also think about is weather. Now, the reason I don't spend a lot of time thinking about weather and food and accommodations and other things are first is because the way that I pack usually will accommodate all weather. And I think that's really coming from Texas surprisingly because even though we do have like extreme heat I do find that I like to have layers. I always will have a sweater, a rain jacket, something light like this, something I can put on top of it. So for the most part, I don't really get caught off guard regardless of the weather choice. But that's one of the things I think about. And then the last thing that I overthink 
is how I'm going to spend my downtime. What are the available activities to do? I need to have a good idea of what is going on in the city, on the boat, and just in general. So I really spent a lot of time thinking about those five things. And I just wanted to connect with you guys. I want to see if those are the things that you think about. And also, if you want more content on any of those topics, especially for the Viking trips and cruises, I would love to know. Also, I mentioned the Africa trip, going to South Africa. Um, if you guys have tips for me, this is going to be my first trip to South Africa. Please leave them in the comments. If you want to follow my journey and my behind the scenes as I'm preparing for Africa or also for the trip to um, the French Riviera, which will include a cruise, um, become a member so that you can get all the behind the scenes content and just be able to talk to me one on one and I can ask you questions. Um, but become a member of this channel. And, and as always, just to keep this content going, I would love if you want to do a super chat or just put a little note and it just keeps all the content going and I really appreciate it. So um, until then, safe travels.